Uh, now we're gonna go through what I think is the, I'm just gonna go through the most common scenario of, of how I will uh, do the body lock pass with some details, just to give you a framework of uh, how it's supposed to look. Uh, obviously there's gonna be a bunch of variables that can occur throughout that are gonna change what, what happens here, but it'd be good to just get a good idea of exactly how I go about it so that those, then it starts to make sense where things can be, can be different, okay? So most common scenario, I'm gonna be here, I'll be standing, and I'm gonna work through to enter into the uh, into the body lock pass via a butterfly guard, okay? So essentially, when I say butterfly guard, you basically just want to stop one leg from being able to go onto the outside. That's all you need to, to focus on. I need to stop this leg going outside my, my hip, okay? So I need to focus on, on that, okay? If he gets this leg to the outside, then I won't be able to body lock on the side that I wanted to do originally anyway, okay? So I'm gonna be basically trying to body lock pass by, by moving in, in this side, okay? Now, so I need to be blocking that leg and getting an underhook with my other hand. Now I'm gonna usually use my leg to take control of that leg. So I've used my hand and now my leg's blocked. So if Lucky tries to take his leg out, my leg can block and I can let go and now use my arm again, but now it's like my elbow um, blocking the top of the thigh and preventing Loki from freeing that leg and also preventing him from bringing his knee towards his chest, okay? So if his knee's up here, it's be very hard to catch a body lock and also easier for him to get it back. So I want to be pulling back against that leg. My head is gonna be preventing Loki from pushing at my leg and pushing at my arms, which, or at least uh, helping in, in dealing with that. So when he tries to recover, it's gonna be more difficult, okay? So you can see my head here will work against the push on my leg. My head's on the wrong side, we can really push back and free that leg. So you have to have your head on the same side as the side you want to go to, but not too low that you're going to get caught in submissions, okay? From here, I'm going to lock my hands together, but I still want control of this leg, okay? So you'll see here, when I lock, my right hand's gone deep, as deep as possible, and I'll link my hands together. Usually for me, uh, I like to link just fingers, because it gives me the maximum like um, ability to block this leg still. If I link at the wrist, for example, you see I have no control of that leg, it's easier for him to recover. So I want to link as far back as I can blocking that and connect my hands here, okay? After I've achieved this, I'm gonna start to try to bring, my next aim is bring my left leg past Lockie's leg here. You can see while he's, while he's flat here, that's gonna be a difficult task. In fact, I might get off balance and swept if I try to do that. So the hook sweep me. Yes, okay. So to do that, I'm going to have to turn his hips to the right, sprawl, but still keep pressure on that leg. I roll my hips and I can step my leg past the line of that leg, okay. Once I have that, I don't need my, but this arm now no longer needs to control that leg because my leg is doing that, okay? So if Lockie wants to bring that knee towards his chest, my leg is now stopping that. So I can switch, I can now put my head to the other side. And I can start to drive pressure forward with my shoulder. Okay, you'll notice my leg is still blocking Lock's leg from coming back in, okay? From here, usually they will lock a half guard. This is a common, half guard or butterfly, we'll just deal with the half guard as a common scenario. He will lock the half guard, I'm gonna pinch my knees, tripod, roll my hips, and pummel my foot inside here. Okay, from there, I'm gonna free my knee and start working to either side control or to the mount. Okay, once more, our common scenario, we get our head positioning, we block the leg, we get our underhook, and jam, okay? Or it can be here, underhook and jam. And then we're gonna lock our body lock with our elbow next to the knee, connecting the hands on one side of the body, not in the center, but as far across the side as possible. I'm gonna bring lock to the side, switch my hips so I can step over the leg, change this position of my head so my left shoulder now drives in. I can start to tripod, I'm on my inside foot in, bring my legs, and work with them full side control. Hope you enjoy this video. 
So you know you can use the code Lachlan10 and save 10% on any of my instructionals through BGJ Fanatics, and you can use the code Lachlan to save 30% on the Grapplers Guide. If you use these links, it also helps me out.